everyone, my name is Andrew Karasev and today I'd like to show you how to create an uh, event handler in 5 minutes. Let's assume that um, you would like to customize sales order. Uh, for example, you may create a new form and table and this table is linked to the uh, sales table uh, by uh, sales order number, sales ID, and uh, in your customization you have something like compliance, um, data, or you name it. Let's begin. Let's go to Visual Studio. Okay, find sales table form. Now click and open it in designer. Here it is. In um, designer, you you just expand events, and um, when form is opened, the um, event on initialized is fired. Let's uh, create the uh, event handler for this event. So what you need to do, you need to right click and say copy event handler method. It will copy the um, skeleton for this. I'll show you in uh, Notepad because I already have it in Visual Studio. Uh, so this is what you use for your text here. Let's go to Visual Studio. I'll show you the code. Okay, so before you um, copy something here, you have to create a class. So I already have it, but in your case, just go for add new item and then uh, you switch to um, class give it a name usually the name begins with a prefix of your company or your whatever personal name uh, three letters and then you give it a similar uh, to uh, whatever you form you customize in my case form is sales sales table i named it sales table form class this all right so now here is the, the class uh, you would need to retrieve the uh, uh, current record from uh, sales table which is the header for the order so this is the text I'll, I'll keep it for for a moment so you can make a copy and then uh, type it in if you need. All right, so here all we do is uh, we just uh, write info. In your case, your text, your custom text should go here, custom code should go here. For example, you call your form or you call your class with functionality from here. You can update sales table if needed, or you can just uh, call your customization and work with, within this one. And in my case, I'll show you what, how it works. All right, so let's um, let's place the debug point here. Okay, like this, and um, then. Um, Let's um, and then you just say say that this one is a startup object. It it will have an error, but uh, it's not important. I'll show you how you deal with this. Okay, let's start debugging. Okay, you got this error message. Just disregard this one. Close this and click on financial operations. Right, and then um, let's go to uh, pick sales order, sales and marketing, all sales orders. Okay, let's uh, pick the first one. All right, so um, we got the um, debugger in our event handler. So it's sales table. 
let's go for debugging. All right, so you can see the uh, this. Okay, so sales ID is 000733. Click continue, and uh, we got sales oil open, and here's our text. Again, um, this text is uh, just for demonstration; doesn't do anything. In your case, you call your customization version 8.1 Dynamics 365. You can see the version here. Open one of these files with Notepad. Okay, here is the version 8.1 build. Yes. All right. So th this uh, concludes uh, this uh, five minutes demo. And uh, good luck with X++ programming in Visual Studio for Dynamics 365.